Hello, welcome back to the Ask Mike show. Mike here as your host as always. And today I'm joined with a special guest. I'm joined in the studio with Rich Nana, who is known as the Rap Granny. And she's a recording artist doing hip hop and rap songs. Rich Nana, thanks for being a guest on the show. Hi, me too. Nice to meet you. So I was doing a bit of research into you, and you've got quite a quite an inspiring story in terms of not just how you got into music, but some of the things that you had to deal with growing up. So I'll give you the the stage almost, and give us a bit of a breakdown in terms of how you got into music to start with. Into music, actually, because yeah, uh, I, I want to do something new, you know, like. Uh keep me young, you know, so I met some producers from Germany and the guy from Atlanta, and then we start to do music together. And then I met Gil Green and he do my videos. So everything comes easy like that. So you, you had quite a, a tough start when you were a teenager. If if I'm right, you, you were in the Czech Republic to start with, is that right? Like, to talk to us a bit about what it took to sort of grow up in in that sort of environment as well? Actually, I born in Czech Republic, but I I, I moved Czech Republic when I was 15. So after I went to Germany and when I was 19, I did my first uh, record. But uh, yeah, I mean, that brings me nothing because, you know, so yeah, but I never give up. So now I start again with 66. 66. So what? Yeah get up to like in between those years what sort of things were you doing I was doing everything like a tv shows like uh, opening a bar restaurant like a cosmetic line many things but uh, music was actually all my thing I would I would like to do all the time and hip-hop is very actual now and it needs more ladies you know it's a very interesting point, actually, because when you look at all of the the bigger names in hip hop, my my first... all men, all men, the baby, and everybody, blue face here, you know, and Tiger there, yeah, it needs, yeah, needs more ladies like me. My first thought was Nicki Minaj, actually, the first name that came to my head. That's the first. Thought. Okay, what? Well, what lady is is like into like rap and and hip hop? Nicki Minaj was the first name I came to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she also, but yeah, but I mean, they come every each year, they're coming some new, but not so much. There are actually more guys than than ladies. That's the point. One of the things that you brought up was the fact that you don't give up and that you keep trying and that you keep sort of keep moving forwards. That seems to be a common theme with what you said about opening restaurants and working in bars and jobs and all those sorts of things. How did you how did you cultivate that? Or was that something that you were born with, that, that sort of mindset that you have? I just do that. Like, you know, some, some people, they work, you know, because they need to work. So somebody do something. But the real thing to make a dream come true you know what I mean a vision when you have a vision that's not the thing that you walk you know you know that you that's you I mean that's like you I mean that you do every day you know so actually you work for the money for your life but you have something behind that you won't do all the time so that was me like really doing this singing and rapping and yeah Mm mm-hmm it was all time behind that, behind the normal life. So what was your vision then? Because if you started when you were 19 initially, your sort of first attempt at the, the singing side of things, what was your vision going into it? I always like being rich and famous, you know, all the time, you know. So then I became rich and a little famous and now I start to get famous more than rich. So that's the point. <laughs> As you've made that, you've made that shift. Then, what was the what was the the intention behind that? What was the reason behind making the shift? It's like it's like did you create something? Because uh, you know, it's really a lot of creativity. You know, when you create lyrics, then you go to the studio. You need to record a song. 
then you always behind everything, you know, behind the graphic work with the guys, you know. So it's always the creativity that keeps you young and keeps you going on, I think. It's almost like if you keep yourself creating new things, it's like you're using that muscle. That makes me happy, yeah, yeah. Always creating something new. Yeah, and that's actually very easy by music because when you want to create a movie, a movie, my God, takes you, a movie takes you maybe like four years. You know what I mean? First, you need to write a treatment, then you need to find the, um, all these artists, you know. I mean, this is something that goes quicker because, you know, to create a song, it's actually, you can do that in one week. A, A music video is done in one day, you know? Right. Yeah, so it's it's more easy. It's it's it moves faster to doing music videos and music than, for example, I don't know, build a house, build a wonderful, beautiful, special house, or I don't know, to create something else. And yeah, I want better everything yesterday than today. So for that, what is it about the the improvement that? that pulls you to it because you mentioned creativity but then the sense of doing better than you did yesterday where where does that tend to come from or is it something that you've always had I don't know it's like something pushing you always somewhere and you you wake up and you think maybe you are not happy and you want to do something something different than your life is, you know, maybe for that, I have no idea, but why people are creative, because they feel that there's something going on in them, you know, they need to, they need to do that, that or that, you know, they need to really, otherwise they are not happy. It is a very interesting thing, because so few people can actually put it into words so the reason why I I knew it's a I knew it was a hard question I was sat there and I thought there are so few people that can actually picture and describe what the feeling is I have I have the same feeling I have the same sort of pull and if something if something wakes me up in the night I have to do it if there's something that wakes me up more than once I'm like this needs to happen this, I can't. I can't keep this inside my head. So I do have. Yeah, that's the point. I think. I think. Yeah, that's the creativity in you. It's like a volcano. You know. Maybe sometimes you wake up and you just go and write some some questions you want to give to to some artists, or you know that you can sleep. Maybe, maybe an idea wakes you up in the night. You know. So maybe that happened too to creative people because I know some of them doing music. They told me oh my God, I just get up yesterday at night and I find some sounds, you know, some melody and I just get up and I just, you know, play that, you know. So you are always in, yeah, you are always in running something, you know, you you never stop, you know. It, it's a very curious thing when, when you have that feeling as well, because I ask it and there are some people that, that don't feel the same way. They treat it as more of a... As more of a craft, I guess. They just get better at doing the whole writing thing. But do you have a process for being creative? Is there anything that you do, like on purpose, that makes you feel more creative? I don't think so. It comes everything like from alone. It comes everything like automatically. Like some days you don't feel like, and then some other days everything comes together. Some ideas and lyrics and uh, styling, like for dress styling, because today you need to create everything. It's uh, you create your own brand. So that will say it's not only the music, it's the fashion is involved. Um, the makeup artists are involved. I mean, everything, it's a really like a big factory which is involved in all these creative things inside. So you need to know also about that, you know, like what's in non fashion, not only in music, you know, how you use your makeup. Uh, you need to also find contacts with friends, you know. So it's, yeah, it's not so easy, you know, it's very compact thing. So what, what else goes around the song and the music and the idea of 
the artist then? What are those different things that are involved in it? You mentioned the brand and everything, but is there more to it? You mean like what? So like um, the brand is tends to be how you're perceived, right? Or how you make people feel as a result of what it is that you do. So mm-hmm. is this yeah. something that you have sort of thought out beforehand? Do you just sort of go with it? No, I think I think it comes also with the time, you know, like uh, sometimes you think you do that, you do that very good or that needs to be like that. And then you change, you know, it's something this this kind of these creative things like to build a brand, something that never stop. And you also change. You make you can also you need also a creative team behind you. That's also another thing, you know, so it's always a movement, I think. What? keeps you going on and that makes you that makes you feel happy you know mm-hmm. so what what elements have you changed over time then because you base it on what makes you happy right it's the things that, that light you up and get you all excited and bring that sort of joy back into your life again and gives you all the energy right so what sort of adjustments have you had to make over the years it was always the same. It was always like going forward and try new things, you know, like, as, as I say, like a open a restaurant because I love to cook and or do this and that. So you have only one life, actually, right? So I don't know how the other people do that when they just study and all the life they do just the one thing. I don't know, like a lawyer, he's, he born, he study and he died with his uh that that, he's a lawyer then you know but uh, there are other people when you can just uh, imagine about uh, tarantino so he was actually working in a in a in a place where there was renting video cassettes you know and he became a very famous director so you see how easy it is to change in your life uh you know the things you do you know what i mean so, so you have people that they don't care. They do all the life the same. But me, I'm totally different. I'm unhappy when I'm doing something like for two, three years. Maybe after two, three years, I will say, oh, this all wrapping. I don't like that anymore. I, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It can be also. Yeah, I, I'm also the kind of person that would probably get bored easy as well. I'm kind of similar in that way. In the, after a while, I the uh, think of something else yeah I have to yeah come up with something to do yeah but it it brings you a little bit forward you know when uh when um you know like I will do also my own show which Nana House show like invite some young talented people you know in a villa and um, we just want to do a pilot movie now in Mabea so that's the next step I want to do actually but first I need to blow up you know, that everybody knows me. So I need to now, I work actually now on my brand, you know, that um, that the brand just run all over the world. I work on that now. So I have now good team. So I hope it, uh, it will work. What would interest people listening is what, what kind of people you do have around you so what because when you look at artists and singers very similar to yourself they have a team around them but it can be difficult to to see them difficult to know what they get up to um are you able to shed any light on that for people that are listening no i have around me like uh, songwriters lyric writers stylists um beauty artists like uh, glam artists people like that yeah Mm -hmm. and uh, actually it's a big inspiration because I met a lot of them different different guys photographers video makers yeah so they are so different people some of some of them you like them work you say oh that's that's one wonderful some of them you say don't you know so the way also I, the, the way i get gil green to doing my videos that was also something special that i find him that i love his art you know 
so so that's that was for example something i was very happy with and sometimes you meet people you try and then you say mm, it's not for me and you know make another guys so you have always not friends but you 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 always met young people creative people and that makes your life little not little that, that makes my life really rich so do you base it on the things that you don't like doing or do you look at it as this is the thing that I enjoy the most and even if I like all of it because there are people out there that love all of it all of what they do but I love all of that I love all I, I love the fashion I love the glam artists I love the photographers everything everything also the videos when I get the new treatment then I check the treatment first, then I pick up this one or that one. I actually, I love all, all steps of them. I can run up, you know, from the cellar up to the penthouse. I love all, the, all, all, all of the steps I love. So what's the, because like, if you think about it, there'd be people that will also love all of it. And they may not have the ability to, not the ability, it's the wrong word. They may not have the idea of hiring someone to do it for them. So what's your reason behind, do you enjoy it, but you still want somebody else to do it for you? Yeah, but when they have not the idea to hire somebody, they can always find someone because for that we have Instagram, you know, they can check Instagram and try and try, you know, today it's like you, you take give and take, you know, so for, for example, there's a guy who do a nice sound. So you can just uh, DM him and ask, can you do me a nice, nice sound for my, for my song? And he, he asked you maybe for money, but you can say, okay, but I can do you nice lyrics for you song, you know? So Instagram is just like, a, you know, like a big um, sea where you can just catch, you can catch each fish you want, you know? Like so, that. yeah. I like that analogy, actually. Instagram is the sea you can pick out whichever fish. Yeah, you catch the fish of the day, you know, <laughs> and when you don't like, you just uh, let them jump inside again and take another one, you know. <laughs> so is it about is it about them being able to do something that a little bit better or a little bit more differently than you can on your own? Or is it the sense of giving you the freedom to just do the singing and the performing? Like what's the angle that you've gone with? Yet yeah, that that's the thing that makes me happy, and I I hope also that uh, after COVID, when is everything uh, you know like a little bit in a normal way, so that I can go and perform somewhere and I fly somewhere to the states and go to London, meet some people, like some like I like some I don't know you know to meet really some rappers like Steph London and Duchavelli or Da Baby or somebody you know so I really want. Uh, be in the middle of everything so I hope that I can meet them one day you know what I mean yeah so that, that will that that will be really something that makes me really happy I like how trying to make yourself happy or happier is how you make your decisions and um, what I'm curious to know is how how do you set yourself up so that you have the ability to do that? Because you mentioned lawyers before, but they might need to do that for whatever reason, whether it's yeah. pictures or their style or whatever it is, where you've got this ability to do what you love to do and it, you've got the ability to do it, whether it's financially, the amount of time that you have. How did you create the ability to do the things that you love to do? No, I just actually really, I'm so happy that I have my team. I have my team of my producers that do me nice songs. I have a lyric guy help me with my lyrics. And um, so actually I'm, yeah, I'm blessed with that, that I have really so good people. And uh, yeah, I, and, and can you imagine I find them all in Instagram actually, you know, I mean, I'm a retired person, I know nobody. 
and I didn't know even how you spell Instagram like five years ago. And yeah, so now I'm so involved with everybody, you know, you can check my Insta. So I just talk with everybody. I send them messages when I love them work. When, for example, I saw people like stylists doing nice dresses. So I just ask, can you do me a dress? Can you do me that? Can you do me that? And they are, yeah. And, and Gil Green, can you do me video? Oh, yeah. Send me the song. Okay. I will do. And then you get a message from management from Snoop Dogg. You want to do a feature with me? I said, what is a fucking joke? Or what's that? No, it was true. So this is really something totally crazy. And even the bad time with Corona, lockdowns, you know, keep you in a kind free, you know, that you are free because you can meet people, you know, if, even when, when everything is bad, you can find something that um, has a reason, you know, that is a reason to live. So that was also something great for me. I do the song with Snoop Dogg, which is an icon and was really somebody I know, my God, you know, yeah. when I was young, Snoop Dogg, somebody, wow, when you tell me that, like 30 years ago, you will do feature with Snoop Dogg. I say, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> oh. That must have been, that must have been pretty crazy. Getting the, the yeah. messages on Instagram from from their managers, you know, sat there. Like, yeah, it's real. So I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what's the what's the big plan for you then? Like, what's the big aim? Because you've got a lot of stuff on your you're in your sixties at this point, and I know that we don't like to talk about age when it comes to women but it, it, it's an inspirational thing because in your 60s you're deciding to take over the the rap and hip-hop scene essentially yeah because yeah, it's never too late it's really never too late to do something new that holds you fresh that keeps you young it's never too late for, for nobody that's a very very good way of putting it and I think that that message alone, just the fact that you started, you you kept going, you kept moving forward, and then now you're taking the world by storm again, despite you know what some people would say that you're maybe too old to do it. But ah, no, I'm never too old, and nobody's too old for nothing. I mean, United President, I mean, you, Biden, you see how old he is. He yeah. has his facelift done. He's he has. <laughs> You know, he has his when he's done, you know. I mean, for what? Because he won't do what he want to do. He won't be president of the United States, you know. So I won't be the famous rapper and he won't be the president. So we are never old for nothing. Never too old for nothing. That's an amazing statement. And I think, if anything, um, a lot of the things that you've had to do, a lot of the things that you've had to go through yourself is set you up for that is that how you see it you see your past allowing you to do this today no my past the, the past actually is the past but also the past is a way that brings you somewhere where you are now you know so you past is a part of yourself you know what i mean so it's uh, even even the past was maybe not so crazy and so creative like right now but Anyway, all the steps from the from from the other time, from your other life, you know, you was always learning something. Like I don't know what, like um, to act or to talk, or you know what I mean. You, so, so also the past brings you somewhere to the future, because the past is a part of your mentality. Also, it's interesting you bring it up actually because. But they're two separate things, right? Like, you've got to let go of the past. You can't let it hold you back. But then it can also give you the information that you need, the knowledge that you need, the lessons yeah. you need to take into the future, right? And you feel, you, feel, you feel more fundamental, you know, because in the past there was also, you know, everybody has these things, you know, uh, falling down and you know flying up and falling down you know three four times you know so yeah that makes you also stronger 
for the other things, you know, for the, that you, that you really do what you want and it keeps you going on. That's an amazing way to, to round it off. I think that's an amazing point, an amazing statement as well. I do have, I do have some short rapid questions for you if you're open to it. Um, we've had people send in questions and if you're able to, we can go, we can go through them. I've got them written down as well. So we've got questions and yeah, first thing that comes to your head that that's sort of quick and sharp answers. Are you ready? Pardon? Are you ready for, for some quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. All right. So <clears throat> what would be your go-to advice for people that want a career in singing? When they want to do that, they just need to meet some, some people, you know, like uh, really going in the cake, you know, even what a kind of singing they want to do as pop or hip hop or what else, they need to really find a team, you know, that you can never do that by yourself, you know, so you need to find everything from a recording studio to a sound guy to a, somebody helping you with lyrics. So just try to keep, be in touch with people that work in music. It not need to be somebody famous because they will not even speak with you, you know what I mean? But you can really find a team of people, musicians, you know? Yeah, and so when you have a team and you, you love to work with them, then for example, I think, yeah, then must be something going on, something good. Even it's not a hit for the first time, but you will have something like, um, you know, like some songs like uh, that brings you, uh, you know, that brings you up because you need to, you need to know how to work, how to sing, how to the behave also. When you have, for example, some concerts, you know, you need also actually maybe a choreographer. So first try to find a team of people you like to work with. Okay. Awesome. Do you read at all? Do you read books? I don't read books, no. Okay, no, just... No. <laughs> Someone... I, I was actually reading books when I was young. There was not Instagram, there was not internet, but now, no, no books, only news and only YouTube charts and all the other things. <laughs> uh, what advice would you have for women out there that want to pursue their dream or what makes them happy? Yeah, I mean, never listen to other people that they say to you that's impossible and you are too old and you will not make it and uh, what's that and that's, that's, that's not good. And, you know, never listen to people like that, you know, that want to keep you down, you know. Just uh, do you think. Do you think just, you know, boom, boom, you know? Just do your thing. Don't listen to anybody else. Yeah, do you think not to ask nobody? It's only you. In, 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 I mean, you are alone. In the end, you are alone, you know, in this world. Yeah. You don't need to ask nobody. And when they, can, when they will help you, then it's fine. And when they will push you down, you don't need to talk with them. Okay, next one. Mm-hmm. Do you have any particular? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Next mm -hmm. is, do you have any self care routines or or morning routines to help you feel good and feel energized? I do sport every day. You know, on my home home trainer. You know, like thirty minutes. Watching, watching Netflix and driving on, driving on my home trainer, like 30, 45 minutes every day. Cool. Yeah. And then actually, yeah. And then eating healthy, you know, like everything organic, also important. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. And last one, what would you say was the secret to your success? Now, I know that's a very vague thing, but if you could boil it down, then that's kind of what we're going for. So 
what was your secret to success be? The secret is never give up. Never give up, you know. Never. Even you feel like, oh God, what I'm doing now, I'm totally crazy. Oh God, what a, this is totally crazy, you know. Never give up. That's really one thing. And then one day you will Ian all these things. I mean, somebody will Ian tomatoes in a garden. <laughs> I will earn all these awards, you know what I mean. So it's not only about music, but it's about what you earn from that that you love to do, you know? And just before we round off the show, um, it's been amazing to chat, by the way. There have been so many, so many light bulb moments and lots of takeaways. But what would your... What would your no stone unturned thing be? What I mean by that is if we finished the interview today and mm -hmm. you sat there and thought, oh, I wish, I wish I mentioned this. I wish I was able to share this and tell people this. What would it be? I don't know. I think I was really giving you everything from my inside. <laughs> And this is actually, this is actually the thing, you know, go your way. Even you go two steps to left, to the right, turn in the middle, you know, by time and start to go your way again, you know. Yeah, there's a real sense of if you don't stop, you will eventually get there. And I think that's one that's of the... That's the point. That's what I think. You know, you can also have a break, you know, and you know but uh, but not that long and in the break do just a creative break yeah that's the best thing you know you can do do a creative another creative break and go and go go forward not stop and then as i say pick up everything you want you just pick up that or the people bring you that just hold your hand and everything comes everything comes well, that's an amazing way to finish. Uh, Rich, Nana is your official name on all of the social media platforms. It's been great to chat. For those that are new to the show, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any of our future episodes. And I look forward to keeping in touch. <laughs>